Well, good morning, everyone. Um, news of Osama bin Laden uh, being uh, taken out on the surface seems like a very wonderful thing. I guess it would seem like um, poetic justice. And at the time, had we had we been able to get him right after the event, right after 9-11, I think that it would have been um, a real coup. But world events have uh, radically changed since then. And uh, we have a whole disruption of the, the way the Middle East was and that whole region was. And uh, as I said in a previous uh, YouTube, I really wish I could trust this president. I really do. I think I was telling my mother today that there is a, um, a basic need, I think, for the American um, public or people in general to believe in their president. And I even had soft moments on um, Mr. Clinton. Um, it's very, it's probably part of our, our beehive mentality that we, we want to believe in, quote, our leaders. Unfortunately, um, I believe Mr. Obama's direction or what he sees for the United States could be a, an honest belief in a certain way, a certain mindset, a certain socialistic, communistic um, leaning, and if it's a, um, a sincere belief, I can uh, respect them for that. If he is part of a, a conspiracy, um, as the fact that his background is almost non-existent, the fact that very powerful people put him where he is, not to demean his ability to communicate. Um, so all that said, I would, I would, I would like to believe in Obama. But this whole birth of a thing is very interesting. That he had the chance, and I mentioned this before. Had he come forth with this uh, birth certificate, the full form, right from the very beginning. He would, have, he would have come into office with a, a wider, a bigger majority, a mandate, and he would have no doubt been able to pull off even more of the stuff that I dislike about what he was being able to, to um, pull off. So in a sense, I'm glad that he didn't to that extent as far as um, he could have been stronger today than he was when he did this. So to Donald Trump... We have my reservations about on his um, eminent domain uh, views or actions. Um, I thank him for at least um, bringing this to the forefront. And um, so getting back to this um, assassination, I guess you could say, of, um, of bin Laden, Osama um, bin Laden, on the surface, it's great. On the surface, it definitely propels um, President Obama, who I will not refer to as Chairman Obama, out of respect for an action that he stood behind. Had it not worked out well, well, I don't think it, it could have been held against him. Um, it still would have it still would have made people like me uh, more. I think I would have been sympathetic on that type of action. I wasn't that sympathetic uh, with um, Jimmy Carter when he went into Iran on a real crappy plan that was fraught with disaster. We could have ended up with more people uh, behind bars than they did before. At least this was not a hostile country that we invaded. We invaded an ally. So the risk of being captured or shot down by a a, um, a country that we're at war with was not there. So 
the risk to our soldiers were not as as great as it was for the for the attempt to go into Iran uh, with Jimmy Carter. So if we look at that, this is not as macho of a thing as we um, I think we we're led to believe. It's it's just as um, I guess dangerous as um, um, trying to figure out what's going on in Afghanistan. Some people say that with the elimination of um, Osama, that um, it will actually be um, a good thing. That um, well, they say if you, a snake, you have to uh, cut off the head. But apparently, Osama probably is more of a um, not a figurehead, but a, an icon. And he will, his death will inspire more people to follow his sacrifice, if you want to call it a sacrifice, um, and do some nasty stuff to us, not only here, but in, in Pakistan. If they can topple the Pakistani government, then um, we're talking nuclear weapons, which can be used against the neighbors. And if it's like a jihad type thing with those nuclear weapons, this means now that Israel's got to deal with that. Um, this, if, if in fact the whole idea is to take out Israel, and I believe um, it's not so much taking out Israel, it's, I think it's, it's basically being in support of the Muslim uh, uh, takeover of the United States, then the taking out of um, bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, could uh, be along that path and um, you know obviously to have have this sinister outlook uh, not that I can change anything or you can change anything but if this is going on uh, at least it's nice to um, try to be on top of it so that we can um, not be surprised so like I said we're gonna have um, some very interesting times. We may find out if Obama is sincere, as really gives a damn about the United States, or he's just not, or he's just fulfilling a a mission, just like we went and took out um, Osama bin Laden. Uh, maybe his mission is to take out the United States. I know that everything he's done thus far, regardless of his claims to the contrary regardless of what um, the intentions supposedly were of what he was doing, from an economic st status or standpoint, he's, he's ruined the United States. So keep your eyes and ears open on this one. I think it's the, the, the judges out on um, what we accomplished by taking out uh, bin Laden. I mean, you understand that um, George Bush Sr. worked as a consultant for bin Laden. He was at a meeting at, on 9-11 in New York City when the planes hit the World Trade Centers, and you realize the Bin Laden family was allowed to leave, leave. They were allowed to jump in their jets and take off and clear out of the United States while everybody else had to stay put. So this tells you the power of the Bin Laden family. And as I said in the previous um, YouTube, I think that uh, we were told that if uh, we take out Osama, that um, Bin Laden family is not going to be very, very happy. And this could drive up our fuel costs even higher and I think um, we're going to pay the price from the Bin Laden family because they are very, very, very powerful indeed. And there was another point I was trying to make about the, um, oh, when George Bush was asked about not taking out Bin Laden, I guess just prior to him leaving office, he said, there's no big deal. Now that tells me something. Maybe he was telling us um, subliminally or whatever that if we do take him, things could actually be worse than if we don't take him. So check out his comments of um, why it was not important to take out bin Laden. Okay, and Jerry the Cat, I miss you. Bye-bye.